guys welcome back to our channel so today we're going to be talking about running onions and how to propagate them this is a flower head and once this is open up this is going to start to be like this like this is going to be the greens that you're going to be planted next and here you go the other one so what you just gotta do with this one is you just pluck this and then this can be another onion or uh, running onion can be planted on a dirt and then this can be planted all over and uh, you're gonna have like green onions look how it's actually putting off another yes, little another, one yes putting up another one and this can be you're gonna have a green onions all year long hmm. and also you can also use the bulb like this bulb once they get bigger you can also use this to chop it and mix mix it with your food and they uh, had a lot of them in here that really like really uh ready to come out to be planted on the on a dirt and you can just once like you, this one once you put it in the dirt you just have to like probably water it once because you don't need to keep watering this because if you keep watering it, it will rotten inside the, like the bulb that you have over here will get rotten. So you just have to water it once or twice every week. But you can see that one. That one's perfect. Perfect yeah. for planting. Uh -oh. And you can ba basically also, get these anytime except for when they dry out. It starts to lose a little of the potency of being able to make it. And you can, yeah. you can just take these ones out. And then you can just plant this too. So you can put this every race that you yeah. got. And I've also yeah. seen people actually uh, separate the bulbs. So you see how most of them come in like a bulbs or threes? You can actually separate the bulbs as well and just plant them, you know, one here, one there. Yeah. But when you got a lot of them, you don't need to separate yeah. them. This one got a lot. And I want to show you guys too that this one, uh, one of some of them already like rooted in the ground, oh, like, no. or some of them just already found their way to the ground and just start rooting. That one over there, like you can you can just grab that one, and then if you wanna just put yeah. it on another dirt, like, a, or you can leave it right there. Yeah, and we'll and that's what we'll just for the most part, we don't mind things kind of taking over. So yes. for the most part, it's fine. So we'll show you how she actually packed those. We actually have some soil right and over here. Right here. So I already have one that's, uh, we took it up and uh, tried to, get, oh, he got a, uh, I mean, a, <laughs> well, look at this little one. <laughs> Caught ya. She's hiding with mommy shoes on. So I have pots over here that's got hole. Of course, we need a pot that got a hole on it, and this one got a hole on it too. So all we have to do is take one, and then all you have to do is put this in a dirt, and then just cover it with dirt, and then ta-da! You have a one plant. And then go do the next one. So this is one that we actually did about a week ago. Yes. So it's still doing good. So that's a good sign. So if you want, if this is too big for you, you can just like what he said that you can separate it. So, or maybe you just stepped on it. Or you can just leave it in a pot. Like mm -hmm. leave it like this. So I think it's better to leave it like that. Then we can just take this one out and plant it. There's two. And you step on my <laughs> plant, mister. Like, you gonna plant that? And another one. So that's just like in every uh, bulb that you take out, it's like you can just plant the whole thing and you gonna probably, in one, uh oh. It's okay. That's okay. It's okay. You want uh, like running on your plant, or walk it on you you probably gonna have at least like 10 or 15 bulbs yeah. in one or uh, walking on you yeah good onion <laughs> walking onion 
So it started off slow too with yes. ours, um, cause our I think our bulbs were kind of dry. So I think she sent us like five bulbs, but only like two, two came up. I think yeah. cause they were kind of a uh, little dried up. But this once you get cool. one of them to come up, that's all you're gonna need. Okay. And just be patient. Oh, you getting some more? Yeah, I uh, think it was. Yeah. So you can also put it at the end of your uh, like rice bed. Yeah, race bed. They knock my. They knock this person. <laughs> you just planted it, and they knock it over already. <laughs> you uh, laughing at me? You laughing at mama? Yeah. So. Also, let's take for them. Like, this one off the top. So they don't mess it like. Just knock that off the top uh, of that one. Don't mess it. Cause I don't want that to have to. Uh, well, we're gonna leave these. Hopefully, these can get a little bit bigger. Hey. Whoa. Yeah, right. Wow. Ah. It, it ain't time to water yet, and that's heavy, boy. So just plant that one in the So I, I get like a, I got five, six of them all together. Yeah, take this one out. And that's without separating the bulbs. Yes. So if we were to separate the bulbs, you're looking at about 15 yeah, of them or so. Yes. I got four. We just put it right there because they gonna knock it out again. Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna just water it. Oh, like the big yellow. Mommy is strong. <laughs> that let's give this a good water. Um, good mm. drink. This is the ones we planted some in the race yeah. beds, right? This is what I plant in the race beds. And then this one, we gotta give this water to. So that's it, guys. So that's how you propagate a running onion or walking onion. And that's like you go, you want one running onion, you're gonna be have a yeah. lunch. Super so, surprise. Super, yes. So that's it. <laughs> so thank y'all for watching and hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all. We'll see y'all again next time, guys. And we love you. Say grow. Well, okay. <laughs> he gonna try. <laughs>